All right, bestie, in another episode of what the hell's happening with my patient, let's look at how to initiate an inspiratory hold on the ventilator. So since we learned about pressure waveforms in the last video, let's look at my patient's normal breaths. Here goes a breath. Cute. Nice. Here goes another breath. Perfect. So time to initiate a breath hold to get my plateau pressure. So we press that bad boy right there and hold, 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 hold. What will the pressure be and end? So based on that maneuver, it calculated the plateau pressure at 16. So now we're back at our regular breaths on our pressure waveform. Let's see that on the patient, regular breath, regular breath, back to basics. And let's try that one more time on repeat. So this downward slope again is our inspiratory hold. There we go. And N. So listen, moral of the story, don't keep your patient's lungs stiff like the attending's personality. Make sure your plateau pressure is under 30 unless there's an underlying issue that the critical care team is aware of. And just so you know, I wasn't sucking air from a human. This was actually performed on my test lungs. So listen, stay curious, bestie. Let's chat soon. Love you. Bye.